Hey, it's me. We're back for more Binding of Isaac BD1 P Eden streaks going for win number two. Still no access to daily runs for whatever reason. Seed, by the way, is going to be N1EB49JK. Void, Sack of Sacks, and amazing, incredible stats, and average HP. Not, nothing too crazy, not, nothing too wild there. It's, it's all pretty good. Uh, they will get better because we have Void for voiding up any bad items we see. But uh, fresh off the last run, ooh, a super tinted rock right here. We can get small rock or like another four spirit hearts on the first floor. Like we get, we got last run. Just give me uh, two bombs, game. That's all that I really asked for. Oh, we're on an XL floor too. I should have looked at that before I started the run. Oh well. Uh, regardless, fresh off the last run, it was a fantastic one. We got a lot of good items. I'm hoping for the same kind of luck here. I've been really enjoying playing Isaac recently, which. It feels, again, it feels like foreign to say that. I've been playing this game daily for years and years now, but uh, I feel like the mojo is, you know, finally back. And I do want to play daily runs. I feel like it's an untapped market of fun because they're like challenge runs that are different every day with like a random seed and it could be crazy, wacky, could be themed even. Who knows? So I'm hoping that I can finally... I don't know why I don't have access to uh, the dailies. I don't have anything in my special launch options. All my mods would be... I turn them off and I launch the game back again and still no access to dailies. So if anybody knows what's causing that to happen, I'd like to know because it could be fun to do a daily every once in a while or make the streak just daily runs because they can be shorter or longer than your normal run depending on when they go or where they go to. And it could be fun to have that variety in characters and bosses again. Sun card. Uh, I'm just going to pop it down here. I do really want to find an item room and two bombs. Oh, Sack of Sacks will give us a couple of bombs. We have three or two tinted rocks right now. Uh, sure. But we also, but they're going to take three bombs to fully get open here. And a secret room I want to open up too, because secret rooms could also give us more bombs or more money or more anything else. But on the same vein of like enjoying Isaac again, at Alexa's request, I did buy another roguelike. Not a new one. It's a fairly old roguelike. Fairly old in the sense that, like, it's been out for a couple years. Uh, that I've been told to play a lot. I've been told this is a very BD1P-like game. You would enjoy it a lot. A lot of fun speedrun stuff, etc., etc. The game is Spelunky 2. And I plan to stream that for a little bit. To try and see if I enjoy the game or not. Um... I don't really have much experience with Spelunky. I never played Spelunky 1. I've never really seen much of either game besides a, a very like surface level understanding of them. Uh, but it looks fun. It also looks very unforgiving. And if I was like 14, I could easily sink hours of my life into an unforgiving game. I did that with Isaac, you know, for years and years, but I don't know if I have that kind of patience today, but I really hope the game uh, is fun to me. Because it looks like a game would be fun to get good at and, you know, play a lot. It'd be a lot of fun. So, I'm going to play some Spelunky on stream. You can find my Twitch link down below if you have any care in, in watching those or... Yes, okay, we're going to go to our other thing first. Uh, of, of watching those or being a part of those streams, whatever it may be. Uh, and the Binding of Isaac, like, chat plays Isaac thing is still happening. It's just, uh, I have not really found a dedicated time or time to really announce that I'm doing it. I should probably make a trailer uh, so that people know what's happening. Because not everybody watches, hey, there we go, watches the, the streak every single day. So I should make a trailer for that so I can make it. I'm going to try to do it within the next week or two. Uh, which is where you guys can go into my chat, type W, A, S, and D, and move my character around. Uh, I want to make sure I have at least, like, 50 people in that stream to make it truly an experience. So, we're going to try that. Uh, and I'm going to be doing Spelunky, and also on this Friday, I have a race against the uh, Complete Saga like a professional speedrunner uh, in a randomizer race we're doing. So that'll be also good fun. A lot of fun stuff I've been doing recently. Speedruns, like new games like Spelunky. It's freaking Kirby comes out soon. I'm so stoked for Kirby. It's my favorite Kirby game getting remastered on the Switch. And they just unveiled a bunch of really cool stuff. There's an extra uh, campaign mode coming with the game. There's uh, uh, all the old sub games are coming back. So we're going to get some more of the Kirby 64 mini games on the Switch. Like, oh, dude. I'm going to be streaming Kirby for probably, like, exclusively Kirby for, like, a week. I'm so stoked. If you want to see me, like, genuinely enjoy a game that I will never dick on ever, 
dude, I, I'm, you have no idea how much, like, ch childhood, I'm getting so, like, I'm getting chills just talking about it. I love that game. That is one of the more nostalgic ones for me personally, um, because me and my friend Colton uh, used to sit in my basement on our Wii and just play Kirby until we beat it every single weekend. We probably 100% of that game more than anybody else in the world. I mean, it's absurd how much we played that game. And it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch again with enhanced graphics, new modes, new levels, new power-ups, new characters. Like, well, I don't know about new characters. I think they're just masks or like aesthetic things for the mini games. But still, I, I am, I'm just so excited. Like, I, I'm, this is a great year to be me. Lots of banger movies coming out. I made a letterbox, by the way, if you want to follow that at all. I, you know, I, I review movies on this streak a lot, so maybe not your cup of tea, but still. A lot of uh, tinted rocks here. A lot of tinted rocks here. But a uh, lot of movies coming out. A lot of albums that are dropping that I'm super interested in. Lots of video games coming out. Lots of updates. Lots of everything. It, it, 2023 is the year of BD1P for sure. Out of, out of anybody whose year this could be. I mean, A. Hey, you're looking at him. I, I made this year possible. Um, let's go fight. I want to get a sack with the bombs. We have two, one or two more Tinties in this floor I want to open up uh, before we leave. We can maybe get a bomb out of our sack drop here, like a matchbook uh, item. Or we can get a, um, a bomb from fighting Krampus or it just being in the Devil Room. There could be a Devil Beggar in there we play out for a bomb or bomb items. A lot of opportunities for bombs here. Oh, hey, let's not be stupid. Sack into a bomb. And a, we're getting a lot of damage on this floor, too. And that is also more damage, essentially. Uh, yeah, we are not going to lose this run. It might be impossible. I forget where the other Tinted Rock was. We're going to go like this throughout the floor. I thought I saw another one somewhere. And it wasn't in here. It wasn't in there. I love cheating in the Binding of Isaac. It's not here. That's the... No, not the starting room. Sorry. Uh, I swear to you, I saw another Tinted Rock. I could just be wrong. I guess I was just wrong. So why don't we go to our downpour and then we can um, just, I guess, move on down. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else could happen here. We have a... A baller run going on that I would be it'd be a shame if we found a way to lose a run like this I, I might roll if we find a d4 just for the fun of it but I doubt it we're having a great time we have small rock cat of nine tails pentagram eye of Belial. it's a, a stellar even knockout drops too and void might I add for it's just a stellar combination of of items to have and there's obviously more to come but Kirby's coming out and I'm so happy for him. I didn't know he was gay. But Kirby's coming out, and I could not be happier. It's going to be a fun game. I will make videos on that. I might post Let's Plays over on this channel, because I'm kind of like... If you haven't noticed already... Oh, yeah, that happens. Um, I did rename this channel again, again, to BDLP for, like, BD Let's Plays. You know, like, BDLP. I thought it was a fun little play on words, because... I. The Isaac series doesn't really get views anymore anyway, so, like, there's no point in just not uploading everything else I do as well here besides, like, long, you know, stream VODs that don't really have a purpose. It's... There's no point in not doing that, right? So, it's gonna be more of, like, a Let's Play geared thing as I transition away from just being the Isaac or Lego guy, because I think, you know, I feel like I have a strong enough base now where no matter what I do, there's gonna be some kind of interest in it, so... It's BDLP, not BD1P streaks anymore. You're going to see Spelunky on this channel for a bit. You're going to see uh, probably some more Minecraft stuff. The, the Kirby Let's Play, if we do that. And then um, uh, whatever else we do in terms of, like, long form playing a game. Tears of the Kingdom, the Zelda game, when that comes out, will be on here. If I play through any older ones as well, I mean, whatever it may be. Because uh, now there's no reason to not do variety, truly. So... That's why it's a name change once again. And I think it's a funny name. So it's a it's a punny name. So there's no reason to uh, hold back. I might as well do this. Uh, we can go for voiding up our knife piece too. Well, this might actually be a run that wouldn't be bad to go to mother on. Like we do have a stellar selection of, let's go to mother. Why not? I, I'm fine to play Isaac for a while today. 
I just had like a 40 minute run for yes or for two days ago for you guys that video so there's no reason to uh skimp out and not do like another 40 minute episode going to a harder boss when you get a run I made a promise like if I get a run this good I will go to mother with it and here we are going to mother with it I can maybe get like a, a thing in here there's no machine so yeah we let's 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 fight the boss who was the boss again we can be blub We've got Eye of Blood. We have Piercing Shot. This is the only thing you need to ever destroy this man. Even with the worst damage and tears, Piercing Shots would still, I think, make this fight super, super easy. Even with Knockout Drops, too. Yeah, I'll avoid that. Look at that. We get a... Uh, buy on my head. Luck and Speed. So, sure. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but... I guess it's better than having a, a raw HP upgrade. And we can uh, bomb on down to the mines. Can I get this Gold Rock with... Yes, I can. Perfect stuff. Lovely. Lovely. No tinties. Lovely. But I have been streaming. I say it a lot, but I've been streaming a lot more. And it's been a lot of fun. I, I forgot how much I actually enjoyed streaming. When I wasn't doing it, like, just to try to get partner. Because for a while on Twitch, I was streaming just trying to get partner. It was like only Isaac streams. Um, and collab stuff because I really wanted to hit partner and I had the analytics for it twice in a row and I was denied both times which sucked so when I stopped streaming for partner and just started streaming whatever games I wanted to I had a blast I had a, f a ton of fun just broadcasting myself playing games and just chatting and watching uh, like you know listening to music or watching a you know a viral video or whatever with like, like five or six people it's more fun than you realize I'm just going to take the blind eye up here You're not really even worth, like, voiding, if I'm being honest. You're just trash. I would have rather had Brother Bobby. I, I did void, um... Uh, what's it called? Infestation 2. Which was a mistake. I thought I could be smart and get the blind item voided there, but I don't want to have the same thing happen here, and, well, we have just kind of, uh... Made a boo-boo, to put it lightly. It was, a, it was a bonehead boo-boo move. Although, we can make up for it. I might go back and void poop. Like, if we uh, don't have any other thing to void on this floor, there's no issue with... I'd rather void, like, a passive that I don't want. Uh, you know, I, I could void a blood bag for some extra damage or whatever. I wouldn't be upset at that. There is some goals and opportunities in this room. Some very golden opportunities. If we can get Mulligan to drop. Well, she should put out the next couple of coins here, right? If my assumption... Eh, it's pretty good. If my uh, assumptions are correct. Getting keys is still fine. Because if we can re or like re-roll... Mulligan's a good item regardless. But if we can re-roll Mulligan into something better... When God, uh, shuts a door, a window will occasionally open. Or, uh, however that saying goes. We got, we got stuff from that. It wasn't bad at all. I, you know what, I'll, I'll do this too. And I can, I can Emperor card. Actually, I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna save the Emperor card for a future day. Like, maybe when we're on the corpse, or we're on, like, a floor we don't really feel like fighting through. Um, then I'll do it. Because, like, this is not, like, mine's one challenge rooms. It's not that bad. Like, the, the enemies are fairly, you know, immobile. You just kind of stand far away and shoot them. Hence this wave being ridiculously easy. Uh, so yeah, we can fight through this. We'll lose, like, what, half a heart and that's it? And then save our Emperor card for a better moment? Yeah, we got tears up there, too. So you can't really be mad at that at all, can you? I was kind of hoping for, like, two bad passives that we could just reroll or, like, void up for stats, but... I gotta realize that why would you want, why would you wish for bad things? You could wish for good things, and then good things will happen. It's a much better strategy. So this is a very complicated room. If I had Ipecac or like Dr. Fetus, you'd be getting so many mushrooms broken. Where are you? I might still bomb a couple things in this room. I got two there. I got three. It's all about the shadow. You got to uh, line up the shadow.
and you'll get all three. Can't really see. I think I'm too low. I was a little bit too low there. Either way, that's too far to the right by a lot. Oh, it wasn't, and we got a crawl space there, which gives us. I don't know if we can void that. <laughs> like, we're getting a lot of useless items to void for, like, in terms of our active stuff, which kind of sucks. Uh, that's a good one if we can end up getting a battery to void that. Smelter is, like, at least one that makes void worth keeping at the, uh, the end of the day here. Ooh. Uh, caves one. Could have been good for our restock machine. I'll pop in here. It's, it's coat hanger. It's coat hanger. We can get a, uh, another, we have a lot of tiers, so... I guess things are going okay. I've been streaming a lot, just like random stuff. We played a lot of, we're doing a Terraria series now. We've been playing Minecraft too. Um, like blockouts and things like that. It's It's been really, really fun. I Just playing games with my like childhood or, or you know, hometown friends have been very enjoyable. It kind of helps bring back that memories of like, you know, it's sophomore year summer and you guys start your, your next like Minecraft survival world. It gives me, like, vibes like that, which are always a joy. Okay. Nope. Missed. Very bad miss. I do want to kill you, though. Oh, you go through things. There we go. You both die. Synth oil's amazing. And you are... I'm taking two things from here. Heartbreak is a wonder... What's wrong with you? Heartbreak is a wonderful item for going real deep on these devil deals here. Uh, and it's also good for going to mother. <sighs> Let's go back. And not forget this. And we will void that up. And we'll walk out of the room. And we will officially move on down. That was a, a strange devil deal interaction there. I don't really know what to make of that. It's a good TikTok clip though. End of the day, I guess. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun. Like, I think that's what streaming should be. I think, it, like, people always make the thing, like, don't start YouTube to, like, be a job or, like, a career path. And that's, that's decent advice. But it goes double for streaming. Because being live is so much more draining than, uh... Ugh. Great. Um, being live is so much more draining than just like making a YouTube video, right? Like there's, you, cause you can always stop when you're making a video and um, take a break, come back to it later at some other time, right? It's, it's not like it's a super hands-on immediate thing. When you're live on a stream though, I don't want data miner. I guess we can like void this. We're getting a lot of like D tier active. This is not a bad one, but how would I use it here? There's two bombs I can use in that room infinitely. That's very strange of you, BD1P. Streaming being live is much more draining when things go wrong because you're, like, in front of people and you can't, like, you know, edit out your mistake or undo your mistake or whatever. Like, streaming is much more laid back, though. I think trying to be... I can't imagine that those, like, streamers and those creators who are, like, always super upbeat and hyper. Oh, that's the point of this room. Okay. <laughs> I only saw one chest down there. Uh, we should get our doctor's remote back once we get a void charge and use that for a bit in there. Uh, like, I like just the, the chill vibe. I can't imagine when you're a creator who, like, his entire personality is simply just being, like, loud and overreactive and doing that. F that must make you the most depressed person in the world, having to do that day in, day out. Like, put on, like, a fake little, like, oh my god, this is crazy. He got me with the scar in Fortnite. I, I can't imagine doing that. I... I would maybe go insane. Like, if I know I'm going to turn a video or, like, a stream into a video, I'll be a bit more, like, hyper than I usually am or I'll be a bit more reactive, but never to, like, a fake degree. I just let myself go unfiltered and be excited about stuff instead of being like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. If that makes sense. Like, it's it's still a bit of a mess, but it's not like I'm I'm going insane or, like, I'm, I'm just being an entirely, like, fake individual. Uh, I just, that, that kind of stuff turns me away. There's a lot of creators that I used to watch um, that kind of, like, went into that hole of, like, now their entire brand is going, like, whoa, isn't this crazy? And I just, I've, 
blocked them all from my YouTube for you page. There's a couple of bigger ones that have turned out like that, that I just feel like it's a shame. When you truly enjoy somebody's content, you know, and they change their genre or their niche, it can suck. But I think it's the worst when they change their personality. Because you can at least go and enjoy, like, a video of somebody that's not what they're usually known for. But if their whole entire personality changes, like, there's nothing there for you to... There's no reason for you to be there anymore, if that makes sense, right? Uh, I think one of the big... I don't want to, like, say any names, because I'm sure this, this person still gets plenty of views and their channel's doing fine, so it's like, whatever. But I used to be a big fan of Point Crow uh, when he was starting out, but I came to notice that a lot of his content has revolved around him just, like, getting really loud when a very funny thing, or a very, like, minor funny thing happens. He gets very loud and goes... Guys, that was crazy, and I just kind of had to stop watching after a while. And it was sad, because I do enjoy his content, but it feels like he adapted his personality to fit content more than the content to fit the personality. And I do go back and occasionally watch, like, new videos he puts out, but I can hardly really ever, I don't know, get through one, if that makes sense. And it's just different strokes for different folks. If you enjoy him, I'm glad you do. I'm glad he still gets support from people. Like, he's a, a very down-to-earth person, it seems like, when he's not doing... Am I going to die? I thought I died for a second. I I don't know if I can open up the module. Wait, I can open it up because I have heartbreak, right? Yes, I need to go get knife piece two first. And I could die in the knife piece section because I. you don't get heartbreak in there. Okay. 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 Uh, this is going to be an interesting run. Again, like, great items. I'm going to avoid that. Um, HP. I've been spending my HP too much. But I used to watch, like... I was a big Minecraft kid, right? I watched a lot of Minecraft Let's Plays when I was younger. Tons of them. Too much, some may say. Sure. I know I'm at one heart now because I could walk in here, which is a, at least a, a good way to know what my HP is like. Um... And when I was a kid, I loved that reactive stuff. The people where they're like, you know, loud and they're... Because being loud is, it's, it's, weirdly enough, it's somewhat engaging, right? Because you're always like, what is this person going on about? As opposed to like me just sitting here talking on the streak, like... It, unless you're into my content already, it's rarely going to, you know, bring somebody into it. Because again, it's just like a, just one guy talking. There's nothing that's super engaging besides the gameplay. Right? It's it's a different kind of thing. Uh, which is why I don't really have that young of an audience. A lot of my audience is around my age. You know, they're, like, I'm 20. Uh, soon to be 21. Isn't that crazy? It is to me. Uh, like, a lot of my audience is, like, 18 to 24. Uh, because I don't think that someone who's, like, 11 and more used to the hyper-ended, short-form TikTok-type content of today is going to be super engaged on my content. Uh, we're going to be... I think we should still risk it. I personally think we should still risk going into the knife sequence. Hey, HP, please. Wonder if that works. HP though. As it still doesn't count. Um Why would you not risk it? I, I'll look for a... I will look for a super secret room first, but... I think it can't be. I already bombed right there. Um, why would you not risk it? You haven't gone to Mother in a while. You're already here. Oh, I'm so good. He's too, he's too good. Okay. That was a well-handled room. Let's do it. We do have to be very, very careful. We're playing with our base stats. Our tier rate is not very good. And tier rate matters a lot in this section. It's tier rate and speed are your two most important stats uh, for knife chase. And we do not have... We have a good speed. I will, I will give you that. I might just, like, not talk during the entirety of Knife Chase sequence because I don't want to flounder. We are... We die in two hits. 
We have one hit of of of. Okay. One hit of leeway. But if we survive, we have a. Uh... Oh, I want you. I don't know why actually I took dead onion because we already have piercing. So I don't I don't think I really needed to take that on. I could have just voided that. I guess like a shot speed down can be decent for piercing shots. Uh because your shots, if we get like a multi-hit item, can stay on an enemy for longer, like C-section. But I also think C-section has like a, a static um Oh my god. Like a static shot speed from what I understand. It may not, I may be wrong, but I thought it did. I thought tier rate was or was the only stat that really affects C-section besides damage. It's just too good. That tier should not have blown that up. Uh-oh. We lived. All right, um, yep, yep, we lived, oh my god, Isaac, you little prankster, you. Um, well, well, well. The most amount of hits we can take in the mother fight is going to be... We die on hit six. So we can essentially only have six hearts going to mother if we play this rest of this run out, like, perfectly. Oh, I wish I would have had that a little bit earlier. Isaac, you prankster, you. So, there are ways we can get rid of... That gave me two broken hearts. Oh, man. Well... It was, uh... Fun while it lasted. Oh. Never punished. Literally never been punished in my entire life. Child of God over here. Never punish child of God over here. I lived, bitch. Uh, we are still just completely and utterly boned. If I... I died, didn't I? Thanks for watching.